Hello everyone on YouTube. Okay, I'm going to give you a quick demonstration video on a new uh, modified firmware for the Nova 7 G2. Uh, basically this is a honeycomb look-alike uh, firmware based on Android 2.3. So, um, people on the uh, forum I got this from, obviously, I wouldn't say there's very many skilled developers to actually uh, port a completely different version of, a version of the firmware for this device, but nevertheless they've got themselves a, a firmware out um, which is obviously a modified version of Android 2.3 to look like Android 3.2 now since I have noticed I have has, I've got some subscribers now I have six at the moment so I'm obviously starting off at still small but anyway um, I say hello subscribers um, I'm just I have been doing a few videos in this this tablet here um, also just before I actually go into this thing Sorry about the slight glare, I've got a very overly, slightly overly bright lighting situation here, so I apologise for this. But I'm going to show you this, give a quick overview of this new uh, firmware. The link, I'll have a link in the description to where you get it, and where you get it will also have information on how to install it. If you have any problems with installing it, or you just need general help, please give me a comment, uh, or if you have a slightly longer message, or if you have like a complicated problem, just send me an email, or send me a personal message on YouTube I would say send me an email email my email will be in the description as it always is these days <clears throat> so under the firmware itself you can still see me doesn't matter firmware itself it looks like Android 3.2 doesn't it Got a nice lock screen which doesn't quite stay still it always seems to go back into the center but um, unlocks like that. I, I've only like installed this firmware about five minutes ago. Okay, maybe not quite, but um, not very long ago. So you have a honeycomb-esque launcher, um, which I would say that it's a little bit quick actually in terms of um, in terms of that. I'll just actually have a quickly uh, slow that down. Actually, scrolling speed. Okay, just do that very quickly. So. Uh, that's a bit better, so nice scrolling. Anyway, you've got your taskbar at the bottom now, um, and you've also got battery indicator Wi Fi and what looks like an Ethernet thing. Um, this does bring up a menu, not always. It's, I th yeah, there you go. It's obviously a look alike, but it's pretty good. Um, and I would say the, I don't know if it's actually a fully finished firmware, but nevertheless, it is, um, it is stable. And it actually lets me do a few things which I couldn't do before. Meaning, some like this, I'll show you. There's a game I play or on my phone all the time, and I wanted to get it on this device because it's only supported by Android 2.3. But um, going into apps, you've just got that's my apps. I mean, I've only installed a few. I forgot to do a titanium backup, so I'm starting from scratch again. Uh, set CPU. I'm just going to have a quick look to see if. Um, this will actually work because that's one thing I've been trying to do with set CPU is, is like lower the clock a bit. Uh, you're stuck on performance, so and I can't change it, so that's a downside. So you have got a multitasker here. There would be more if you were more, more multitasking, but it's not quite like the standard up and down thing like in Honeycomb. You have a left and right option. Now it won't let me do it because I'm not actually multitasking. Let me just uh, load up a couple of things quickly. So, Google exit. So now, there you go, it's, it's updated. So you've got this nice side-to-side -side scrolling action. That's just quite nice, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, it is not true honeycomb. I will just show you, actually. But nevertheless, it is a good imitation uh, in, in my respects. So, uh, Android 2.3.1, it is still based upon the stock firmware, so there's nothing real new with it um, in terms of it's not true honeycomb but I, li I like the look of it it's um, it's not bad and um, it works 80% mm, like honeycomb I'd say obviously some of the honeycomb apps will obviously not work but wrapping it up I'll just show you this game which I couldn't play before because the accelerometer wouldn't calibrate properly jeez that was quick to load yeah also things are very quick at, at running actually um, gameplay is a lot smoother I'd say and I haven't fully tested this so I will obviously 
if you ask me, if you really want to know about like stuff like USB host, um, like and video codec playback, because I've I've had loads of problems with the with video playback on this sort of device before, like it wouldn't play quite a lot of the of the formats it says it was on the on the Anova website. So, if you ask me any of these sort of things that I've just said, or any other questions you might have about this firmware, does like say does it improve X Y Z on this device? Then yes, I will give you a. Uh, I'll give you then my verdict on that. If I haven't, then I'll just say I haven't done it, and I'll come back to you. Also, another thing you would notice: this game's in full screen. Now, I'm not sure if this is a bug or not, because um, on the uh, on the ARC tablets website where I got this firmware from, I'm not. Ow! Sorry, I got hit. Um, I'm not sure if this is actually meant to be like this, meant to be full screen like that, because there's no there's no way of getting your taskbar back. So. Uh, I mean, you're, you're stuck. I can't. I, I can't like exit. The only thing I can do is press. Let's do the top button, and then do map to menu, and then do it again to quit, and then the taskbar reappears. So that could be a bug. I'm not sure. So yeah, um, if you have any more questions about this firmware, please leave me a comment um, below, or anything else about the the Nova 7 G2 in general. Um, I can uh, answer most of your questions. If not, then I'll refer you to a relevant forum, which will probably answer your questions for you there. I'm not an expert at these sort of things, but I do know my way around this device and uh, this firmware in general, which I will obviously do my full test within about a day or so. So. Um, if you is this if you've seen this video a few hours after I've uploaded it, then you might want to wait a little bit before asking me if you have any questions because I might have not tested all the features. Give me about three days, and I'll probably have tested all the aspects I could possibly think of on this firmware, which I couldn't do normally, um, normally with the um, like the stock firmware and stuff. So give me a couple of days on that. Sorry, stupid fan. Okay, so any questions, leave a comment below and I will have links in the description to the uh, where you can get the firmware, uh, which will obviously have instructions there as well. Emails in the description if you have a slightly longer question which you can't leave in a comment. Um, but if it is actually a longer um, longer um, question, just leave me uh, an email anyway. I'll answer you within, within about, within three days, maximum of five days, I doubt I'd be any longer than that. Okay, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.